Lily's been, Hey baby. She's been um, really limping on one leg. The right foot. And I might have stepped on it or she might have sprained it. Um, and I thought, I don't really no. care if she limps, but I didn't want it to get worse or, you know, and I didn't know if. I mean, I don't know, fumble foot, or if I kind of, she's really underfoot. I thought I might have, like, stepped on it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, they're so freaky looking that it's hard to tell. And she's the head of the coop, so she has, like, that male spur. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You hear it funny? She's sweet as pie. And uh, she's the boss. And she's teacher's pet. It's a well summer. But so, uh, she's, she's limping, and I just, like, wouldn't sure if I've got parasite problems or and they gave her um whatever I went somewhere like I gave her uh ibuprofen for a week or something like that like I don't even know but it didn't make any difference and um so they just said they didn't know Trying to help you, beautiful. Okay, I'm going to pop in this leg all the way to the hip. The only place I'm getting any pain is about right here. Yep. So start playing with this area here. Uh-huh. Well, it looks like a little something, too. I think, I think it was probably a fracture in that toe. So it's still healing, you, though. Maybe a Maybe a non-union. Could be. It's right in the spot where if she were sitting there, your foot would hit that on the side and break it in that one spot. It's entirely possible. Okay, so that's okay, right? And then, so, does she have parasites? I put a, I cover them with diatomaceous earth. Some people swear like by it, some it. parasites just don't believe in it. Right, well, except for now, you know, I haven't really done it. Oh, I'm going to look in here if you like oh it God. or not. Stay still, baby. No. Okay, that's good news. That was not so bad. No, I was just trying to look on the inside. That's it. That's all I was doing. Anyway, she, I mean, she seemed, they seem like they're in great shape. But um, anyway, so she's limping, and then I thought, that's okay. Hey, little Mina. You chitty-chatting? These two are real mellow. Fluffy has a different problem. All right, let's see Fluffy next. He's not as tame. Fluffy had um, a raccoon, a bad raccoon attack. Like a couple of them got killed, and we got her in mid attack. This was a couple of years ago, and she's the one. She had like big gouges, and the re we became friends during the recovery process. <laughs> Sorry, Will. I mean, Fluffy. Come on, baby. Shh. Come down. Come down. So, Fluffy, okay, so you see that she got attacked with the raccoon? Anyway, she did great, but she kind of got used to me because it was a lot of TLC. Um, she's like barely walk. She's just starting to go sit down all the time. And, um,. I mean, they're all kind of mess, extra messy today. But she, she's just like sitting down, like more and more and more. Okay. Do whereas you, you that use one's anything one, for parasite control outside of uh, diet? Well, I center? haven't. No, not really. I mean, I have like I do oregano and all that stuff, like in the water, natural. I know they have uh, something that starts with a W. You know, some kind of nasty chemical you put in there and kind of purge it. Mm -hmm. But I have never seen any. Like Most parasites are microscopic. You, you can't, you can't see like them with the naked eye. Okay. And then, you know, like I know, kind of looking for... And she was just sleeping and purring. She's a uh, black ostelor. I mean, she's really friendly, too. But anyway, she's like... She's really... Uh, that looks good. You see? know, lying down. So, uh, I mean... Like she, she seems like she's walking less than she should, and I thought well, maybe she's just really 
uh, laid back, but I didn't want it to be something degenerative or, you know, I mean, we'll put it this way. I had three of them at the same time, kind of with walking issues. Madame, which is, and then so, with, I don't know. The, and then these two are the older generation, and then uh, Madame was one of the new ones, so it's a year. They're, and I think they're probably older than three years. I can't even remember. See, she got it, she got it hit it hard with the uh, There's various in here. And she purrs a lot. Anyway, um, I mean, have you heard of Panicure? Have I heard of what? Panicure? No. Didn't bend us all? No? Okay. No. All right. I mean, it, is that. It's a dewormer, uh, very, very safe stuff. I'm going to send you home with something that I want you to use. Do you think they all. Do you think they have, that's what's going on? I mean, with this one? Um, actually, we're a little bit down in weight. It's just one of the first things I would do to, you know, to help narrow down the you know, narrow down the field. Huh? So you got all dirty in the rain. But she seems. Um, I mean, I thought maybe she just be good. Just so you see. Is that There's a mic right there. Oh, so diatomaceous earth is not that good of stuff. Well, I hadn't really been doing it. I mean, I used to, I was, I've been really not doing anything. I've been really bad. So, like, I actually don't think that is bad. I mean, I actually think if you do it, it might help. Mm -hmm. Except for, what are you saying for, uh, you're saying, like, parasite stuff, like warming? Or what are you saying? Well, like you're obviously, saying whatever you're using so far what? is not working at all. I, I sense, and I, if internal parasites, you start to speech all over again. There are at least two named parasites for every species on this planet. Even parasites have parasites, okay? This is this whole planet, our ecosystem, everything is set up to where one animal eats another, and if it doesn't, it's eating off of another or from another. So the way it works is everybody... Sharing the love. Exactly. So my point is, if we're not doing something to separate out the ones you love from the ones that you don't, then chances are you're loving the bugs and the mites, as, you know, the, mm -hmm. the bugs, mites, and the, uh, the worms as well. So I would like to make sure that we uh, send home something that's going to help with the internal parasites, because getting rid of them, okay, is definitely going to make them healthier. And it's and it's also I have been um, pretty diligent. I've been just. Uh, vigilant, vigilant too, but just lately not the stress going to New Orleans, just not doing mm -hmm. you know as much management on the coop and stuff. Uh, but does that any of that lean towards? Because um, like I don't really see stuff. Does that lean towards anything to do with why she might be kind of lame? Yeah, it's not so much lame. She just weak. She wants to spend more time. Oh, really? Yeah. These, these parasites inside her are taking her, her nutrition. Oh, so you're really pretty confident she just got some stuff. I would like to rule that out. Okay. And then I also thought maybe if you're touching, you can, you know, tell if mm -hmm. something went up and you call palpating. Okay, so um, this is something I put in the water. Uh, no, I'm going to okay. give, give me your dose before you leave and make sure you have enough that you know how to do it. Okay, okay. and, and do I, should I do this with all of them? Uh, how many more have you got? Uh, 11. Okay, we, we got to get, send you I enough, mean, uh, enough home for 11. Yeah. Okay. I can imagine catching a couple of them, but um, yeah, these two like just want to come sit on my lap. And the other, and you know, so a couple of them are tame. But uh, Madame was, uh, she was improving, and she fought me every step of the way. She's eating her scrambled eggs. She would eat kibble. They love mealworm. You know? She, she was doing it. <coughs> but um, yeah, I'll, I guess it would be good if I uh, deparasite everybody. 
Mm -hmm. It's time for spring cleaning. It's like uh, super swampy out where we were. And you know, this predator, we've caught a bunch of raccoons. This predator, predator I think, was actually a rat, I, I guess. Well, the way it went straight for the stomach and stuff, I don't know. It like did the back, the back end. Her head was still there. Now, raccoons, you should take the head off mm -hmm. and they eat the entrail. The, the thing is, that was such a small hole. So, I mean, I don't know what else is doing it, but I can tell you. Long-tailed like, weasels are common in this area. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. You, you don't see them because they're so secretive, oh. but they are definitely here. Oh, well, that's good to know. But anyway, it was just a chink in the armor because it's been pretty good. But then you're just like, oh, look at this little piece of wood that fell off. Yeah. Not really thinking it's a hole where somebody got in. And I saw her when I went in and checked. So. Couldn't grab enough fast <laughs> What's the name of the organism you found for Jack and Duke? Just thought it was a large fungus. Large fungus? Yeah. Okay. She wants to look it up. That's what she's asking. Oh. <laughs> it would be macro radness. <laughs> All right. Me and her chip right back. Who wants it first? Raise your hand. Do they hate it? Do they like it or hate it? Because they, she, she doesn't was, taste good. was liking that other stuff. Yeah, it's hard when they don't like it. Uh, because she uh, apparently the antibiotic tastes good. And uh, and I've done both things, and when they don't like it, I'm not sure how successful. Okay, this is the one cc syringe. I recommend each of these guys get half of this. Okay, so we get the first one from here to there. Okay. Second one gets the other half. Who? You? 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 You, 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 come on. Come on, speak up. She's the boss. You got to take it first, Liz. Okay, you can be second. Oh Let's basically stick it in the mouth. Way down? What about that far? Oh, my God. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I'm allergic to giving chickens medicine. What happened? I've been sneezing like crazy, too. Well, you know, I can see... Um, <coughs> I can see these two are the easiest two out of the crowd. God mm -hmm. bless you. you. And so, uh, do you think that might just be it? She just kind of laid I back think you'll see a much stronger chicken in the next week I or so. Somebody might have gone poop. Who was this one? Yeah. <laughs> Guess what? She Your scared turn. the shit out of her. <laughs> oh, my willy. Okay, I guess my husband can help me with this. You just kind of. Put it down to the side. Wow, you're putting it way in there. What do you mean down to the side? Just to either side. Okay, kind of. So they're just like, oh, that was weird. And do I have to throw the eggs away? Mm. Aren't they pretty well? Must have been for two ounces. Scrappy. That's enough. And I want you to do it basically like every other day for a week. Oh my gosh, I'm all of them every other day. Mm -hmm. All right, this should be interesting. Do it for a week, and then uh, let's uh, see how they respond after about a week after that. Okay, well, and then she's the only one who's 
you know, kind of sitting down a lot. I You'll thought maybe that's room. just the way she is. All right. So Okay, do you see anything in there? No, like I said, most of them are micro microscopic. You can see when they get on. But I thought I was you know when I check, you want to check it? Sure. Oh, oh God, stinky. Now, so she's the one that's kind of... Two lame girl, two lame chickens. Two lame ducks. Anyway, uh -huh. so sweet. Okay. Let me get a scooper for that. Damn. That's some stinky chicken poo. What's the nature of poop? <coughs> yeah, and I'm trying, you know, I've been pretty good about keeping it clean, but lately I've been just going to see my dad. I'm going to a funeral tomorrow. It's just so busy. We're going out of town. I mean, going yeah. to New Orleans a lot. But anyway, all right. Yeah. All right, thank you. All right, y'all go in there. He's going to go find something in your poo.
to how. Um, everybody's kind of okay. Oh, Willie's look at look. Hey, baby. She's been um, really limping on one leg. The right foot. And I might have stepped on it, or she might have sprained it. Um, and I thought. I don't really yeah. care if she limps, but I didn't want it to get worse or, you know, and I didn't know if, I mean, I don't know, Bumblefoot or if I can't, she's really into foot. I thought I might have, like, stepped on it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, they're so freaky looking that it's hard to tell. And she's the head of the coop, so she has, like, that male sperm. Well, hello? Mm-hmm. You hear it funny? She's sweet as pie. And uh, she's the boss. And she's teaches that. This is a welcomer. But so uh, she's she's limping, and I just like wasn't sure if I've got parasite problems or. And they gave her um, whatever. I went somewhere. They, I gave her uh, ibuprofen for a week or something like that. Like I don't even know, but it didn't make any difference. And um, so they just said they didn't know. He's just trying to help you, beautiful. Okay, I'm going to pop this leg all the way to the hip. The only place I'm getting any pain is about right here. Once I start playing with this area here. Uh-huh. Well, it looks like a little something, too. I think, I think it was probably a fracture in that toe. So it's still healing though. Maybe a, maybe a non union. Could be. It's right in the spot where if she were sitting there, your foot would hit that on the side and break it in that one spot. It's entirely possible. Okay, so that's okay, right? And then, so did she have parasites? I mean, I put a, I cover them with diatomaceous earth. Some people swear by it. Some parasites just don't believe in it. Right. Well, except for now, you know, I hadn't really been. In oh, it. I'm going to look in here if you oh like it God. or not. Stay still, baby. Ooh. Okay, that's good news. See, that was not so bad. No, I was just trying to look on the inside. That's it. That's all I was doing. Anyway, she, I mean, she seems they seem like they're in great shape, but um. Anyway, so she's limping, and then I thought, that's okay. Hello, Lamina. You chit chatting? These two are real mellow. Fluffy has a different problem. All right, let's see Fluffy next. Who's not as tame? Fluffy had um, a raccoon, a bad raccoon attack. Like a couple of them got killed, and we got her in mid attack. This was a couple of years ago, and she's the one. She had like big gouges, and the re we became friends during the recovery process. <laughs> okay, sorry, Will. I mean, Fluffy. Come on, baby. Hello. Hello. So Fluffy, okay, so you see how she got attacked with the raccoon? Mm -hmm. Anyway, she did great, but she kind of got used to me because it was a lot of TLC. Um, she's like barely walk. she's just starting to go sit down all the time. And, um, I mean, they're all kind of mess, extra messy today, but she, she's just like sitting down like more and more and more. Okay, Do you use anything for parasite control outside of uh, diatomaceous well, earth? No, not really. I mean, I have like a do oregano and all that stuff like in the water. Natural. I know they have uh, some that starts with a double, you know, some kind of nasty chemical you put in there and kind of purge it. Mm -hmm. But I have never seen any. Like Most parasites I, I are microscopic. You can't you can't see like them with the naked eye. Okay. And then, you know, like I know, kind of looking for, and she was just sleeping and purring. She's a uh, black octobor. I mean, she's really friendly, too. But anyway, she's like, she's really, uh, that looks good. you See? know, lying down. So, I, I mean, 
Like she, she seems like she's talking less than she should. And I thought, well, maybe she's just really uh, laid back. Mm -hmm. But I didn't want it to be something degenerative or, you know, I mean, we'll put it this way. I had three of them at the same time, kind of with walking issues. Madame, which is, and then so, look, I don't know. The, and then these two are the older generation, and then um, Madame was one of the new ones. A year. They're, and I think they're probably older than three years. I can't even remember. See, she got it. She got it hit it hard with the uh, There's some areas down here. And she purrs a lot. Anyway, um, I mean, have you heard of Panicure? Have I heard of what? Panicure? No. Didn't bend us all. No. Okay. No. All right. I mean, is that... It's a dewormer, uh, very, very safe stuff. I'm going to send you home with some that I want you to use. Do you think they all... Do you think they? Have, that's what's going on? I mean, with this one? Um, actually, we're a little bit down in weight. It's just one of the first things I would do to, you know, to help narrow down the, narrow down the field. Huh. So you got all dirty in the rain. <clears throat> but she seems, um, I mean, I thought maybe she just... Could just leave. so you see, Is that there's a mite right there. Uh, so diatomaceous uh, earth is not that good of stuff. Well, I haven't really been doing it. I mean, I used to, I was, I've been really not doing anything. I've been really bad. So, like, I actually don't think that is bad. I mean, I actually think if you do it, it might help. Mm -hmm. Except for, what are you saying for, uh, you're saying, like, parasite stuff, like warming? Or what are you saying? Well, like obviously, whatever you're using so far is not work. working at all. I, I, I sense, and I, if internal parasites, let me, let me start the speech all over again. There are at least two named parasites for every species on this planet. Even parasites have parasites, okay? This is this whole planet, our ecosystem, everything is set up to where one animal eats another, and if it doesn't, it's eating off of another or from another. So the way it works is everybody... Sharing the love. Exactly. So my point is, if we're not doing something to separate out the ones you love from the ones that you don't, then chances are you're loving the bugs and the mites, as you, the, mm -hmm. the bugs, mites, and the, uh, the worms as well. So I would like to make sure that we uh, send home something that's going to help with the internal parasites, because getting rid of them, okay, is definitely going to make them healthy. And it's and it's also I have been um, pretty diligent. I've been just. Uh, vigilant, vigilant too, but just lately, not the stress going to New Orleans, just not doing, mm -hmm. you know, as much management on the coop and stuff. Uh, but does that any of that lean towards? Um, cause like I don't really see stuff. Does that lean towards anything to do with why she might be kind of lame? Yeah, it's not so much lame. She just weak. She would just spend more time. Oh, really? Yeah. These, these parasites inside her are taking her her nutrition. Oh, so you're really pretty confident she's just got some stuff. I would like to rule that out. Okay. And then I also thought maybe if you're touching, you can, you know, tell if mm -hmm. something would help. Are you called palpating? Okay. So um, this is something I put in the water. Uh, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna okay. give, me, give me your dose before you leave and make sure you have enough that you know how to do it. Okay, okay. And, and do I should I do this with all of them? Um, like, how many more have you got? Uh, 11. Okay, we, we, I think we can send you I no, mean, uh, uh, enough home for 11. Yeah, okay, I can imagine catching a couple of them, but um, yeah, these two like just want to come sit on my lap. And the other, and you know, so a couple of them are tame. But uh, Madame was, uh, she was improving, and she fought me every step of the way. She's eating her scrambled eggs. She would eat kibble. They love mealworms. You know? She, she was doing it. <coughs> but um, yeah, I'll, I guess it would be good if I uh, de-parasite everybody. 
Uh, and when it's time for spring cleaning, it's like uh, super swampy out where we were. And you know, this predator, we've caught a bunch of raccoons. This predator, predator I think, was actually a rat, I, I guess. Well, the way it went straight for the stomach and stuff, I don't know. It, like, did the back the back end. Her head was still there. Now, raccoons usually take the head off mm -hmm. and they eat the entrail. The, the thing is, that was such a small hole. So, may, I mean, I don't know what else is doing it, but I can tell you. Long-tailed like, weasels are common in this area. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. You, you don't see them because they're so secretive, oh. but they are definitely here. Oh, well, that's good to know. But anyway, it was just a chink in the armor because it's been pretty good. But then you're just like, oh, look at this little piece of wood that fell off. Not really thinking it's a hole where somebody got in. And I saw her when I went in and checked. So. Not fast enough. <laughs> What's the name of the organism you found for Jack and Duke? Just one was a large fungus. Large fungus. Yeah. Hmm? She wants to look it up. That's what she's asking. Oh. It'll be macro radness. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Me and her took right back. Mm -hmm.